Thank you. So basically that. Uh, I'm talking about social networks because they are a challenging application we use today on the internet and uh, the challenge to implement in a different environment. Uh, so when I... Uh, there's now a, a slew of uh, big uh, blockchain players trying to read with the internet and that ranges from building a bunch of all middleware like Ethereum the packet system which makes sense to some more interesting stuff like throwing out uh, layer 2 and everything up to it. And a good example of uh, the latter is uh, this paper which uh, shows that uh, uh, tuning the network stack to application and that means both tuning TCP and uh, replacing uh, layer 1 actually and implementing on FJs uh, leads to uh, improvement of performance in all three orders of magnitude on Zookeeper consensus. Uh, there are the, those are the bigger projects doing the reinventing and blockchain in all different at the top and the old ones at the bottom. That's the actual problems of the internet. Uh, so when I connect to example call, there's basically everything that can go wrong. Uh, and those things are made into merely leaks by universal transfer encryption. Those are still leaks and actually TLS adds another leak, leak vector. So that's the Tor, but it's still not enough because it doesn't work against the Global Passive Network Observer and it's basically a web proxy designed this so it's low latency and so it can employ some immunization strategies like mixed nets and also doesn't have cover traffic and you can't write efficient P2P with Tor, so you can't write with Torrent Tor by design. Uh, so why do we see this recent surge in this decentralization? Uh, why do blockchain people do it? I think it's first because of locking. If they succeed, it's a huge battle. Then viable problems like content distribution. No company, almost no company can host something like YouTube. Uh, native monetization because ads are dying out and uh, micropayments have not taken up on the internet security by default because we, then we can flip all the opt-in stuff to default like transfer encryption maybe. Uh, then the reading of central authority which also tends to fuck up sometimes like uh, says. Uh, and then there's the last uh, point which uh, the blockchain people don't actually seem to care about and uh, also ITNS worked really, really slow months ago because they did an uh, inefficient uh, B2B stuff. Uh, that's an example of how you can do B2B stuff wrong. So what do we need for a social network? We need the first two points, the network, then we need the second two points, it's the social, uh, and multicast and pops up is really hard in distributed environments, that's the distribution problem. Uh, and there's basically no functional solution at the moment, but uh, GNUnet seems closest. You should check it out, probably. Uh, so, to sum up, why? Uh, because the internet has problems, and how I will probably check out GNUnet and Secure Share. And you might even employ your weird crypto schemes in the. Well, 